It's eviction day at the historic Kyiv cave monastery. A few days ago, furniture and boxes were packed into vans ahead of a government deadline this Wednesday for hundreds of inhabitants to leave. Some of those living in the complex are believed by authorities to secretly support Moscow in its war against Ukraine, an allegation fiercely denied by the monastery's leader, who wants everyone to stay put. We, as believers and as monks, will remain in the Lavra as long as it's physically possible. The Ukrainian Orthodox Church split from the Moscow Patriarchate in 2019 and definitively cut ties last year over the latter's support for Russia's war on Ukraine. Some 4% of Orthodox faithful in Ukraine still identify with the Russian Church, whose leader Kirill has firmly backed the invasion. The monks' rent is up at the monastery complex, which is state-owned. Technically speaking, they're being booted out on rental agreement violations. But the issue has become highly political. In November, police raided the complex, citing suspicions of sheltered sabotage groups, foreign citizens and weapons. Ukraine's culture minister says if anyone wants to stay, they'll have to swear allegiance to the Orthodox Church of Ukraine. We ask to leave uh, the representatives of uh, Moscow uh, branch of church in Ukraine. It doesn't necessarily connect it to the monks. Monks have their right and possibility to decide to which church they belong. Despite Wednesday's deadline, the ministers said no monks would be removed by use of force from the UNESCO World Heritage Sites.